Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to my curls. It is 7.30 on a Monday morning and I'm in my car. Why? Well, the dogs are going to the groomer and it is Maxie's big day. Maxie is finally getting his summer schnauzer haircut and I cannot wait. It is hot, y'all. It is hot. And I take the dogs about every eight weeks to get groomed. And last time that he got groomed, they forgot to give him his summer cut. They gave him his normal kind of springtime cut. And so his hair has been way too long for the past eight weeks. He is hot and he is a matted up stinky little mess. So we're headed to the groomer to get our big time summer schnauzer cut. And he is gonna be just adorable. But I'm in my car because I wanted to show you all this dog car seat cover. Last time I showed this to you all in another video, and if you did not see it, I'll link it right up here. You all sent me so many questions about the car seat cover. How does it work? How do you attach your dogs? What if you have more than one dog? Where do you get it? And so I'm gonna put a link to this car seat carrier or to the car seat cover it's from a company called pets apex i will put a link to it on amazon right below in the description box the car seat cover does come with one safety lead and that is what i use for pollux because his harness attaches on his chest so let me get the doggies in here let me show you how this works and then we're going to head to the groomer Are y'all all worked up because mama was in the car? <laughs> okay, hang on just a sec. Hang on just a sec. What, sir, are you doing? What is going on here? Hey, Mooie, you're just a mess. You're a stinking mess. Pollux, are you a mess? You're not a mess. Pollux, he just going for a bath. He go along for the ride. Come here, Maxer. Let's, let's just show him what a mess you are. So, Maxi, look how, look, be still, Mooie. Look how long he is on the back. We normally, well, he's showing me his booty. We normally don't keep him long on the back like that. That is a winter cut. He's gonna get his typical schnauzer face, but all of this, can we just see the hair on top of his head? All of this, all of this is gonna get cut down so much more. And then he'll have his, we do a puppy cut on Maxi. I don't like a sharp line schnauzer cut. Right, Moo? <laughs> so he's still gonna have the line with a little bit of a skirt, but it's more of a puppy cut. We like him to look like a little pupper. And we're gonna get the chicken. Come here, show me the chicken in your ears. We're gonna get the chicken out of his ears. Right, Mooie? He's gonna look like a fresh little handsome schnauzer. They're all excited <laughs> because they saw me out in the car. Pollux, are you ready to go? Come on, let's go to the groomer. It is so sunny out here. It's 7.30 in the morning, y'all. But I wanted to show you again the car carrier, the dog car seat carrier that I have in the back of my car. I wanted to give you all a better look and explain to you what it does and how I hook Pollux and Maxi in the car. Here's the back seat of my car. So this car carrier just simply is a protection for my car and it hooks over, well, it's hard to do one-handed. So like it just goes like that and it just hooks over the headrest. So I've got it hooked over each of the four headrests in the car and it's just a protection. It's like a really, a really sturdy good mat. It is waterproof on the other side, so it protects my car seats first and foremost. And then it is a safety belt for the boys. But it's from a company called Pets Apex. So it has these openings, Velcro openings. You put your seat belt through here. And then for Pollux, because his harness attaches at his chest. I'm just gonna pop this in here. See, this came with it. This belongs to Pets Apex. And then I'm gonna hook this leash on his chest, which I'll show you once I get him in the car. And then for the Maxer, okay, 
And then for the Maxer, because he has a harness that hooks on his back, I'm just gonna take my normal seat belt. It's hard to do, one-handed. Snap it in there like that. Then I bought one of these little hooks. And again, I'll put all of this stuff in the description box below the video. But I just put this on here and then I, I attach it on his back so that he cannot move around. So the dogs are kept in their own spots. Y'all look, look at all the dog hair on this thing from Pollux. It's got this little flap that comes over the side, but that is what it looks like in my car. And this is one thing I love. See how the center of it right here is mesh? So they don't feel like they're closed in. They can actually see through to me. I can see through to them, which is fantastic. So let me get the doggies in here. Are you ready? You got your harness on. Show them your harness, Pollux. <laughs> Move, where's your leash? Here, Move, he'll just go. Hold on. Yep. Come on, Maxer, let's get in the car. <laughs> His ears are back, he knows something's going on. We're coming over here, Mooey, you're on this side. Come here, Moo, come here. He won't go out because we have an invisible fence. Come on, you're, you're okay, you're okay, you're okay. Come on. Okay, so here's Maxie's harness on his back. Attach it on like that and he is not going anywhere. He has a little leeway to move around but he is in the car securely. <sighs> Let's get Pollux. So Pollux will only get on his harness and his leash at the front door. He doesn't understand that we go out the garage sometimes, right, Pollux? <laughs> okay, Bubby, this way. And we're going this way. We're going out to garage. Come on, go, 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 go. We're going out to garage. Here we go. Okay, hang on. Pollux, this way. You're on this side, buddy. Pollux, you're on this side. No, that's the front seat! That's my seat! Pollux! Hey! Hey! Get down out of there! <laughs> Wait a minute! Oh my gosh, we got in a bind! What are you doing? That's the wrong way! Listen! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, so see I have him attached at the chest. So Pollux has a little bit of leeway. Oh, poor Maxer. He swished that tail and just hit you. Now, don't you dare get in that back. Oh, see, he can't get over. It's perfect. He is bound to that spot. Let's go. Okay, okay, moves in. See, I can see him right there. Pollux is in. Pollux, why do you always go to Maxie's side? Get on your side, can ya? Are y'all ready? Huh? Are y'all ready to go, Pollux? Here we go, Mary. And one thing I know, lock the windows, cause somebody will open a window. Hey guys, we're here at the groomer. Max, are you gonna be so fresh and handsome? Pollux, you don't like it, but we're going in. Max, are you gonna be all fresh? Look at that little beard, how dirty it is. It's gonna be all fresh and handsome. Pollux, are you ready? So I told the groomer, give Maxie the summer cut. Cut his hair down and get rid of some of that hair that they left like on his booty. It makes his booty look gigantic. So we're gonna cut that down a little bit, get the chicken out of his ears, give him a summer cut, which means his head and his back, like the majority of his body is gonna be um, shorter. We're keeping the skirt, puppy cut, I said and Pollux is just getting a bath. So those were the instructions. So we'll see what I get when I pick them up. They're normally here two to three hours. They'll just text me and I'll come back. Here they are. Look here, Pollux. Look how handsome. He smells so handsome. He's all fresh. Look at his fluffy tail and the Maxer. Maxer, you got your widow bandana on. She had to trim Maxie's beard so short because he had knots all in it. It was all matted up. Oh my gosh, Mooey. And then, Pollux, how was your bath? She said you wouldn't let her touch your feet. Are you tired, Mooey? Oh my goodness, are you so sleepy? 
We're home from the groomer. The dogs are in the house, and I wanted to show you all how I take this car seat cover out of my car because it's super easy. It's covering hair right now. All right, so there it is. I'm gonna unhook Pollux's strap, put in here. I'm gonna unhook the Maxer, and then I'm gonna take this little clip. Oops, take this little clip off the seat belt. All right, clip off, and I'm gonna put this in that little pocket. Okay, so pull my things through, close my Velcro, and all I'm gonna do is just take that off of my thing, take this off of that, go around, I'm gonna put Maxie's little hook inside here. Velcro that down. Okay, so take this off of my seat and that off of my seat. Whoops. This is hard to do with one hand, y'all. Fold that over. Fold it over. Fold it over. Boom. Done. Okay, Mooey. <laughs> Are you glad to be home, Moo? Let's see you. Let's just take a good look. So you got your little eyebrows. Oh, look, she got the chicken out of your ears. Oh, and Moo's got on a little bandana. Let's put it back here like this. Little bandana. She had to cut his chin really short, she said, because he was matted up. Walk around. Come on, come on here. I see ya. Hey, Moo. Okay, show off. Go prance around out there. Oh, there's Mooey. Look at his little snails are cut. Oh, there's his booty. There's Moo. He got a little snails of hair, do. Okay, let's get Pollux. Pollux is outside. All right. Come here. Take your harness off. Come here. Come here. Wait a minute. Where is it? Oh, let's see ya. Are you handsome? Oh, wait that fluffy tail. <gasps> Come here. Oh, stretching. Oh, Pollux, you're so handsome. You're fluffy, and your neck is fluffy. Yeah, you're fluffy. <laughs> you want to go out, Mooer? There we go. Oh, he want to go out. Let's see what he's going to do. Let's just see. He'll probably, he'll roll in something. Y'all watch. Oh no, he got poop. Cover up, he got poop. Okay guys, come on, let's go in. Oh, Pollux, come on. Look how handsome you are, buddy. Hey! Oh, apparently it's time for some zoomies. Oh, oh, come on guys, let's get in the house, it's hot. Are you going to run in circles around the living room now? Y'all got to check each other out. Oh, now it's playtime, Pollock says. Playtime, Maxers. <laughs> Y'all want a treat for being so good and going to the groomer? Let's see. There's one for Pollux. And one for the Maxer. Oh, that's good stuff. Is that your favorite treats, Maxer? Peanut butters? Now are you going to go take a big nippy nap? Go get a good Judy in? Oh, your beard is so soft, buddy. So soft. I feel like Maxi looks like a schnauzer. He's fresh, he's cool, he smells good, and he's got his summer cut. Whew, that is a good thing because it is so hot in Kentucky. Maxi, he is not one for heat and cold. He likes a good 70 degrees, and it's like 92 degrees outside right now, and will be probably for the next two months. And so, 
he feels so much better with his summer cut. Pollux, I don't think, gives a hoot about anything. Apparently, with all of the breeds that he is, um, I'm not sure whether he likes the heat, the cold, who knows, what the heck, but he got a bath. Are you okay? Gosh, dang it. Is it okay? A groomer said Pollux was much better today. He's getting better every time. He did fine in the bath and he did fine with the, the blow dryer, but he did not want his feet washed. As soon as she started to like wash his feet, he freaked out, which is weird because he hasn't minded that up until now, but what's up? You didn't want your feet washed. You didn't want your feet washed today. Why is your hair all sticking up right there? Maxi is already in here in his favorite spot, right, Mooey? You just you were just ready for a nap. You're hot and everything. <laughs> oh, buddy. Okay, let's just get a look at you, Moo. Well, I don't want you in my lap. Oh, let's just get a look. Look how much shorter he is right here. So nice. And your little bandana. We'll leave that on for Dad to see your bandana. And look, I can see through his ears. She got the chicken out. I can see through. Right, Moo? So thanks for going to the groomer with us again today. Maxie got his summer cut. He feels so much better. He's hot right now. He's worked up. Y'all, let me tell you something. When Maxie is at the groomer, he was there two and a half hours. He barks the entire time. When I pull up in my car outside the building, I can hear Maxie barking. Not kidding, he barks the entire time. So when we get home, he is exhausted, he's hot, and he's thirsty. <laughs> so what he does, what are you gonna do? He wants his belly rubbed. <laughs> you wanted a belly rub, Mooey? <laughs> but we're home from the groomer and these guys are, I'm sure, gonna take a huge Judy on the couch. They are both worn out. My goodness, Pollux, are you so exhausted? Oh my goodness, you're exhausted? It was, that bath was too much for you, buddy? Look at this. Look, grass in his toenails. <laughs> you're so exhausted. I know he's tough, going to the groomer's tough. Just lay there and take a nap. Goodness gracious but they've got their fresh summer dews and they smell so good. Do y'all love to smell your little guys when you pick them up from the groomer? Mm. Oh, they smell so good. I call it fresh. They're so fresh. I love a fresh pup, but we'll see you later.